Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well and enjoying this beautiful weather that we've got in the UK at the moment. It's a scorcher. I, I love it. I am a little bit sweaty today around the old neck and my tash is probably looking a little bit dewy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's beautiful and I am definitely not complaining. Maybe a little bit, but no, love it. Anyway, today's video, as you can probably tell, well, from the title of the video, and the fact that I have a huge mango box next to me, is a mango haul. And it has been a while, a long while actually, since I've sat down and filmed a proper haul video. I know I did the occasion wear one a few weeks ago, um, which I will leave links below if you're on the hunt for a beautiful occasion wear dress, because there were some corkers in that one. Um, but yeah, that, was, that wasn't really a sit down haul video. So anyway, it's been a while and I decided I would come back with a mango haul because I love mango. I know a lot of you guys love mango and I looked online, I found a lot of pieces, a lot of pieces that I loved and I think I ended up spending about 700 pounds I think it was as usual it was a lot but of course I don't plan on keeping everything I just thought I could hopefully find a really good few pieces for my summer wardrobe if you do spot any items that you love in the video then they will all be linked below whether that's the mango items or any items that I style them together with or what I'm wearing earrings top etc it will all be in the description box so just click show more and it'll be down there um, but yeah let's get going with the mango haul. I've been so tempted to open this, but I have refrained. There are a lot of creams and nudes and babies going on in this package. Okay, so the first item out of the box is this little beige ribbed midi dress. And it actually says linen on the label. So I think it's probably a linen blend. It's definitely not 100% linen because it feels sort of like a stretchy, ribbed knitted fabric but i just feel like this style of dress is perfect for traveling in perfect to just sort of throw on with trainers or dressed up with little ankle boots or heels as well um so yeah i like that i ordered it in a size small hopefully it's not too big okay first off i know i've said this so many times but if you are new to my channel then please excuse the mess in the background at the moment we are currently renovating our house and so there's paint swatches and a very dusty floor and a freshly plastered wardrobe. It's, it's just a little bit of a messy background, but bear with me because it will be looking a lot better soon, hopefully. Um, but anyway, back to the dress and this is how it looks like on and I love it. It is absolutely perfect and exactly what I hoped it would look like. And it's the sort of thing I know that I will just chuck on time and time again throughout the summer and even into autumn as well because it's got like that little bit of warmth to it um the fabric's really nice it's not itchy it feels super comfortable and it's a really flattering shape as well i feel like it hugs your kind of hips and bottom area really nicely um, but it's got a little bit of looseness around the tummy area so i've just styled it with these tan sandals but i also think it would look fab styled with little ankle boots and like a leather jacket into the autumn or even wedges during the summer if you wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit. So yeah, definitely gonna keep this one. I like it a lot. Oh, I love them. They are perfect. They're literally exactly what I've been looking for. They're like a really lightweight, creamy white pair of linen shorts. And I love the button details going up them as well. They are perfect. I just hope they fit because I went for a size extra small and I am probably I'm slightly curvier on my bottom half. <laughs> um, so hopefully they will fit because they look, I don't know, they look a little bit small, but they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And I know that if they fit, then I will wear these to death throughout summer because I just think they'd be perfect with any vest or body or even got a spare button as well. Lovely, love them. Okay, so I'm in them, just about. But as you can probably see, the buttons are just pulling a little bit and it just makes them look a little bit unflattering because they're just a little bit too small for me. Um, so I love them. I think they're perfect in every other way. And I think I probably will swap them for the size up if they're still available. Um, but you can just kind of see that they're just that little bit tight around my hips. But apart from that, I do think they are gorgeous shorts. 
They are the perfect length. They are such lovely fabric and they're a really lovely shape. And I like these little side pockets as well. So I am gonna keep them, but I'm just gonna send these back and order them in my size instead because they are lovely, but they're just a little bit small for me, a little bit snug. Oh, I like that as well. This is definitely not the fabric for today's weather. It's a very sort of, well, quite heavy knitted sort of fabric, very stretchy. Um, but I thought it would be perfect for summer going into autumn. You know those days where it's slightly a little bit cooler, but you want to still wear a comfy dress. And then going into autumn, I thought it would be lovely as well. And it's got a slit sort of up the side, which I like. I do really, really like that. Again, it's a size small. I'm pretty sure a lot of the dresses at Mango, they only offer small, medium, large. And I find that sometimes the small can be a little bit big, but then sometimes it's not. So it's a risky one, but hopefully it will fit me. I kind of feel like this is slightly more of an autumnal dress rather than a summer dress. Um, obviously the fabric where it's kind of like a bit of a knitted, quite heavy sort of fabric, um, but then also the colour is a very autumnal colour. Um, but then saying that, we are in August, so it's quite scary that, isn't it? Summer's like coming and going. So I've just started out with some tan ankle boots, but I feel like coming into autumn winter, it would look amazing with some over the knee boots underneath it. So you've got that bit of extra warmth, but it would look super stylish like that as well, especially with the slit coming up, showing a little bit of over the knee boot. Um, so yeah, I do really like this one as well. And it's a really lovely shape. It fits nice on the hips and the bottom as well. Oh, okay, the headband. I was expecting this to be like a rigid headband. You know, the ones that look like they're like this, but they're actually rigid. That's what I was expecting for this. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel like the rigid ones sort of sit better on your head and are just easier to pop on over a ponytail or whatever. Um, but yeah, it is a kind of straw effect headband with the knot detail in the middle and I'm just loving these at the moment. I got, I've bought a few from Topshop recently. I've got a gorgeous sort of burnt orange one and I actually got a cream one, actually I think it's there, on the end of the bed. I actually got this one as well the other day which is sort of like a beigey cream one which this is what I mean by the rigid ones. You know they're just easier to just pop on like that um, whereas obviously this one's soft so yeah. I'll try it on in a minute and then put a a try on clip of it so you can kind of see how it looks do really like it i think that's super cool and it's like a proper summer headband to have you know on holiday with a bikini that would look really cool um but i'm just yeah just wish it was rigid really my only complaint well that's definitely not the fabric i was expecting it to be i thought it's gonna be like a really sort of rigid mini skirt and it's kind of like a stretchy almost knitted or sort of toweling-ish, well no, not toweling, it's kind of like a like a knitted mini skirt. Um, I did think this would probably be a bit of a love it or hate it one, I was a bit unsure, but I just love the little tassels at the bottom and I just thought it'd be a really cute little summer piece. Um, so yeah, I'm going to withhold judgment until I've popped it on. I love the little tassels on it, I just think it's such a pretty little summer skirt and it's really, really comfortable as well, like the fabric, has got loads of stretch in it, and I quite like the fact that it hasn't got a zip, so you know that if you go for your regular size, it's pretty much guaranteed to fit you because there's a lot of, lot of stretch in it. Um, I have to start out with this kind of like pinky, nudie coloured vest top, and I actually think that it'll probably look a little bit better styled differently, like maybe with a loose sort of cream linen shirt tucked in, um, or like in some flat sandals maybe? I don't know, I'm just not entirely sold on it worn like this. I'll have to have a little play around with it. But I think it's such a cute skirt and it's, yeah, really comfy, really cute, and I like it a lot. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you'll probably know that I've got a black blazer from Mango that I wear to death, I absolutely love it, and it makes any outfit look really sort of stylish and put together, it's like the perfect cut, and fabric, it's, it's just a lovely blazer. And since I got that, I've sort of been keeping an eye on Mango at all the different blazers, kind of looking for something similar-ish, but obviously in a different color. And then obviously I was looking recently and spotted this beautiful beigey nude blazer and thought it was the perfect summer version of my black one. Um, obviously it's double-breasted and it's in like a really lightweight fabric. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's in modal, which is full to the touch and very, absorb very absorbent. 
In comparison to cotton, it has a greater shrink resistance and maintains smoothness after many washes. Sounds good to me. And then obviously because I loved the look of the blazer so much, I couldn't resist ordering the matching trousers. I just thought it would be the most perfect summer suit. Worn smart or casually, even like on a night out with some nice nude stilettos and like a little bralette underneath, or in the day with kind of converse little trainers, a white t-shirt underneath, I just thought it was such a gorgeous suit and that I have to give it a go. It might look ridiculous on me, but we shall see. Okay, first of all, apologies for all the creases and folds in this blazer. We haven't got a steamer or an iron yet in this house, so everything might look a little bit not as neat as it probably should. Um, but putting that aside, it is a beautiful blazer. Um, the fabric feels lovely and soft and lightweight and if you were buying it as workwear it feels really comfortable like the sort of thing you could sit at a desk in all day um, and it wouldn't feel restrictive you know like some blazers can feel a little bit heavy and a little bit kind of what's the word structured a little bit structured whereas this is a lot more of kind of a lightweight summer blazer um, and the trousers are super comfortable as well the fabric is so soft I want to keep like rubbing my thighs um, but yeah super soft fabric the only thing I'd say about the trousers is that they are a little bit tight on the hip and bottom area so I got these in a size 6 I think let me just check yeah I got them in a size 6 and they are a little bit small I'm usually between a 6 and an 8 on the bottom half so Probably, if you're in between sizes, I'd probably size up. And obviously they'd look great styled separately as well. The trousers would look fab with a white shirt or a nice blouse as workwear. And this blazer would look gorgeous styled with a white t-shirt and some mum jeans or even some denim shorts as well, um, making it a lot more casual. Oh, that is gorgeous. That looks such good quality as well. I'm pretty sure it's real suede. Yeah, authentic leather, so it is real suede. And I think it was about 30-ish something pounds, about 30, 35 maybe. Um, don't count me on that, but yeah, I think it was. And I thought it was very similar to the Chloe Pixie bag, I think it is. You know, the one with the gold bit that you can also use as a handle. I think this, I think this hoop might be a little bit too small to use as a handle, um, but I'll pop a picture of the one I mean. But I think it's a very similar sort of dupe for that. And obviously it's got a long strap. I'll, I'll pop it on with something so you can see how it looks on. Um, but yeah, I like that a lot. Is that a pocket at the front or not? Oh, it, no, it isn't. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been quite nice if that, you could have slotted your phone into that little bit. But yeah, I really like that. And I like the fact that the gold isn't too shiny either. It's sort of almost a bit like a brushed sort of brass look to it. Um, yeah, that's really cute. Like that a lot. That fabric is so beautiful. How pretty is that fabric? That is... Oh, why does it look so massive? Is it the way I'm holding it? I think it's because I'm holding the sleeves out, aren't I? It does look quite big, doesn't it? What size did I get? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got a size small, a UK out, a, U, a UK 8. Um, but I think the sleeves are meant to be quite balloon and oversized. It's just like a really beautiful floaty summer maxi dress and I quite like the little tassels on it as well and I just thought it was a really good throw on piece for on holiday when you want to you want to look cool and comfortable but quite covered up as well in fact this would have been perfect for Marrakesh wouldn't it because it's still really pretty but then you've got your shoulders covered and your legs covered um yeah it's gorgeous let's see how it looks on Okay, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this dress now I've got it on. I um, still love the print of it. I think the colour and the fabric is beautiful. But the shape of it I'm just not really sure on. So it kind of like has these big billow billowing big billow big billowing sleeves <laughs> that look cool, but they kind of start really low down, like on your sort of hips. Um, so they're kind of like a real bat wing sort of sleeve, which looks really floaty and cool, but feels a little bit weird. And also, I thought it was going to be longer than what it is. I thought it would be completely maxi, where it sort of just stops above my ankle, which, yeah, it's just not really what I expected. So I'm undecided about this one, so let me know what you think of it. Um, I do think it's beautiful, and I think if I saw someone else wearing it, I'd be like, wow, that looks amazing. But on me, I just feel a little bit maybe, I don't know. Just don't know if it's really me. 
Oh, oh, that is really cute. I like that a lot. It's just a really simple little checked mini dress. But I feel like that is just the perfect little throw on summer's dress. It's in a really stretchy fabric. It's black and white. I know it probably looks navy, but it is a black and white check. And yeah, it's just really cute and simple. And I feel like I would pop this on. It's the sort of thing I'd throw on every day on holiday because it's just comfy and easy. And I'm pretty sure this was in the special price section as well. So I'm pretty sure it was probably about 20-ish pounds. Um, but yeah, I like that a lot. In fact, that would look really cute with little Converse or like white trainers, wouldn't it? I like that. I like that. Okay, so I love this dress. I just think it's so cute and easy. And again, the sort of thing I will chuck on loads during the summer. Even if it's just around the house, it's one of those super comfortable dresses. Like the fabric is so stretchy and it's just, just, easy um i have started now with some little white pumps because i quite like the way it looks really casual and just yeah just cute um but i also think it would look lovely again with wedges or with like a flat sandal like a tie up the ankle sandal just to make it a little bit fancier or yeah it's lovely i like it a lot the only thing i would say is that i have got a bra on and it is slightly tight around the armpit bit so I'd probably take the bra off and wear it without um, because I don't think you need to wear a bra of it because this bit's quite quite stretchy and supportive. Oh I did not expect that to be so wide I thought it was going to be about half the size of that. I like it though I like the colours. It's stretchy. <laughs> I did not expect it to be stretchy either. I intended on wearing it with like denim shorts or jeans through my belt loops but obviously being the width that it is, um, I definitely won't be wearing it like that. But I do really like it and I think it would look really cool cinching in dresses like the white, the cream dress that I showed you at the beginning or round a little black dress. I think that would look cute as well. Yeah, I think I like that. It wasn't a sale as well. It was only about £10, I think, which is really good. So I'll, I'll pop it on with something and see how it looks on. Oh, this fabric feels lovely and actually there's not a crease in sight which considering they've been packaged up is very impressive it's always a good sign with trousers if they don't come creased it means chances are they won't crease easily um they i got these in a size uk6 and they're just a really beautiful cream pair of wide leg trousers which i thought would be gorgeous worn obviously with high heels probably wedges because they're usually very long um but with wedges and then maybe like a nice nude body tucked in i love mango trousers i've got a similar pair in like a nudie pink and they're beautiful so yeah i like them i think i'm gonna love them these trousers are absolutely perfect they are the perfect length they're the perfect shape they're the perfect color they are just exactly what I hoped they would be. I've put them on some wedges, which is how I would wear them normally, just to keep my feet comfortable. And worn with wedges, they are the perfect length. They just skim the floor nicely, maybe kind of like a like about a centimetre, well, a couple of centimetres off the floor for me personally, and I'm five foot six. Um, so yeah, perfect length, and they're just gorgeous just a beautiful summer trouser and would look lovely with a lovely floral floaty blouse or different sort of cami tops or even some bodies tucked in as well um so yeah definite thumbs up i'm chuffed with these trousers and i feel like these will be in my wardrobe for many years to come oh i ordered this one as well i didn't realize i had i swear i took this one out of my basket it's the same as the rust one but in beige and I originally saw this one and loved it but then because I liked the other beige midi dress the first one that I showed you um I thought I'd taken this one out of my basket and swapped it for the rust color because I thought I don't need two beige midi dresses um but clearly I decided I needed three midi dresses <laughs> uh so yeah I definitely won't keep all three of them um I'll probably just decide on one maybe two I really like this dress as well, although I do think it's very similar to the first one that I tried on and I don't think that I need both of them because obviously they're both a very similar colour and quite a similar-ish style. Um, but yeah, 
I really like it. Let me know your favourite between this one, the first one, and the rust one. Um, but I have just styled this one up with some nude stilettos and kept it really simple. Um, but obviously you could wear your own chunky belt to sort of break it up a little bit. And I also think they look really lovely during the day with flats as well. Okay, next up is some more beige. And this time it is a jumpsuit. And again, not the fabric I expected. It's sort of like a stretchy, again, almost like a bit of a knitted sort of fabric. So probably, well, definitely not suitable for today's weather. Um, but as it gets a little bit cooler into autumn, I think that would look really lovely. And yeah, I don't know. We'll try it on and see. Okay, so again, I love this jumpsuit. The fabric feels lovely on, it's really comfortable. And again, the sort of thing that I could just wear all day and feel comfortable, I could wear it around the house, I could wear it out and just, yeah, the fabric feels really lovely. Um, not too fitted, but still a really flattering shape. And then you've got the little tie on the waist just to cinch it in a little bit if you want to. Um, I did think of putting it on with, with a different belt to kind of break it up a little bit. And I think that would also work really well, but I thought I'd just try it with the little tie that it comes with first. Um, and then obviously I've styled it with a big floppy hat because I feel like it kind of just has that sort of chic, sort of holiday ambling around vibe to it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd pop a hat on with it just to be a bit extra. <laughs> um, but I like the way it looks like this. And again, I've got it on with some flat sandals, but I think it would look fab with wedges as well. Okay, I've just got a couple more bits to show you. And first is another pair of trousers. And as you can probably tell, I am on the lookout for some really nice, lightweight trousers. These are, well, they say linen, but I'm pretty sure that they're a linen blend. Um, yeah, this garment contains a certain percentage of linen. Suitable for summer because of its coolness, breathable, comfortable, and light. Well, that is definitely needed today. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just a really lightweight pair, lightweight pair of cream trousers that are tapered in at the bottom with a little cuff. And I just really liked them, so I won't ramble about them. I'll try them on and see how they look on. I actually like these trousers on a lot more than I thought I would. They feel very comfortable and cool, and they're a really good shape as well. They fit really well on the waist, like they're not baggy at all, but there's enough shape on the hips and the bottoms so that they don't sort of squash your bottom like some trousers do. So yeah, really love the shape, really love the fabric, and I like the little turn up on the bottom as well. I just think like a really sort of chic, smart casual summer trouser um so i'm very tempted to keep these as well let me know what you think of these ones okay and the last piece of clothing that i ordered is another beige piece <laughs> um and it is this sort of nudie beige linen blend top and i just thought it was gorgeous i love the fabric of it love the shape of it i love that sort of high neck shape i think it looks really sophisticated especially when it's teamed up with a nice pair of earrings as well um, so yeah, that is the last piece of clothing and I like the look of it and I'll try it on and see how it looks. I really like the neckline of this top. I just think it's a really flattering shape on the shoulders. I like the way it kind of cuts in a little bit and I think it works really well with a pair of statement earrings as well to kind of like balance it out a bit. I've styled it quite casually here with just some mum jeans and this belt to kind of tie in the nude tones. So I quite like it tucked in. Um, but I also think it would look lovely with some of the trousers from this video or even with like a nice pair of linen shorts, I think it would look lovely as well. Um, so yeah, I like this a lot. Love the colour again, obviously. <laughs> um, and I think I might have to keep this because I just think I'd wear it so much. Oh, the only thing I would say is that I've got a white strapless bra on underneath and you can kind of see the white through it. So you definitely need to wear nude underwear underneath it, or a nude bra underneath it, um, rather than white. But apart from that, I don't think it'd be see-through at all if I had a nude bra on. And then finally, this little package, which contains a couple of pairs of earrings, I think. My memory is terrible. Um, okay, so... First up is this, oh yeah, I remember ordering these. They're like a little pair of gold hoops with long dangly pearls on them. And I just thought they were really lovely. I'm pretty sure they were in the sale as well. And I just really like them. I've got a similar pair that are a little bit smaller with tiny little pearls on from Accessorize that you've probably seen me wearing a lot recently. So I thought I'd give this slightly larger pair a try. And then the other pair that I ordered are a little pair of seashell earrings. And I just thought these were so pretty. 
how gorgeous are they? They're just like a little drop down pair of earrings with two little shells, a gold one and a regular shell coloured one. Um, yeah, I just thought they were very pretty and very summery. I like them a lot and I'm sure they were both in the sale as well. So again, I'll leave them linked below. So that is everything for my mango haul. I really hope you enjoyed it and I do apologise if I got a little bit flustered and rushed towards the end but I was just a bit overwhelmingly hot <laughs> um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new that would be wonderful I'm hoping that I can make it to a hundred thousand before the end of the year fingers crossed um, but yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video goodbye <laughs>